how to get shaders for minecraft bedrock 1.20 the first thing you want to do is you want to go on any web browser and then you want to search up this website over here mcpecentral.com it will be on the screen right now and this is basically a website where you can find all sorts of shaders that are working for mcpe 1.20 you guys can go over here to the three bars right over here and then once you're over here go ahead and scroll down until you see a shaders which should be right over here but over here will now provide you a list of working shaders for minecraft but now is the fun part now you can go ahead and pick which shader you would like to install i'm going to be downloading this shader right over here it is new and of course it does work on render dragon now whenever you do press on one of these shaders it will actually provide you some information about the shader and also some images that you guys can go ahead and actually take a look at but if you go to the very bottom over here you'll notice that there will typically be a button that says download go ahead and press on the blue link right over here like i'm going to be doing right now and this is going to take you to a direct download right over here so all you got to do from here is you got to simply install it uh, by pressing on the blue button like i'm doing right now and there you go it is already installed on our device and from here go ahead and open up the google play store and once you're here go ahead and search up for the application file manager just like so and there's this particular version i want you to download i want you to download this file manager rights over here this is the one that makes it easiest for you to actually get shaders it is completely for free and once you went ahead and open this app it is going to give you this menu over here it may look a little complicated but do not worry the first thing you want to do is you want to go over here to the downloads folder and once you're over here what you want to do is you want to search for the shader that you just downloaded which you can do so by scrolling down or you guys can go on the magnifying glass i was able to find my shader right over here but the next thing you want to do is you want to long press on your shader file just like so and once you're done with that go ahead and press on the rename button right over here and then what you want to do is you want to double check that the file ends in a .mc pack and not a .mc pack.zip or a .zip or anything like that. So this one has a zip at the end. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be getting rid of it right over here simply by deleting it. And if your file already ends in an MC pack, then you have nothing to worry about. But in this instance, I actually did have to get rid of that zip. So I just did that over here. And once you're done, go ahead and press on it. Done. And then you will notice that the icon of the shader will actually change. It will look a little bit different. But once you went ahead and done that, what you want to do is you want to long press on your shader once more. Then you want to go to the three buttons over here that say more. Then go ahead and press on open with. And then from here, you want to go ahead and search Minecraft. For me, Minecraft is already at the top, but you may have to scroll down till you find Minecraft. But I just going to go ahead and select Minecraft just like so. And then from here, you guys could press just once or always. It doesn't really matter. So I'm just going to be pressing just once. And then as you can tell, we successfully loaded in our shaders over here. Now, in order to actually activate it, it's really simple. All you got to do is got to go to settings then you got to go to global resources right over here then go to my packs and find the brand new shader that you did just get which is right over here and you want to go ahead and press it and then press on activate and then it should be over here to where it says active and once you're done with that you can go ahead and exit out and now load into a world and from here you guys can enjoy shaders if this video was helpful please consider leaving a like and subscribing see you later french fries